Hi lovelies, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Um, I've tried a different setup this time, so just try and get a bit different lighting, just to make it a bit more relaxing for you. Um, but yeah, so for this video, I'm going to be just a few of the triggery things. So I recently stayed in a hotel, and as you do when you stay in a hotel, you tend to take a few of the little, you know, the free stuff. <laughs> um, I didn't actually take, I only, took, I only take what I likely to use or can see a purpose for I don't like to just take anything and everything you know um but yeah hindsight I think oh I should have I didn't get the bar of soap um and things like that I did pick up the shower cap and I can't find it anywhere because I thought that would make a really nice crinkly sound so when I find it I'll do another video <laughs> but I have got some little bits here oh and I got hot chocolate as well but I've drunk it all now um I had two hot chocolates actually <laughs> and I actually had the other one two nights ago um, and that was a really crinkly packet but I've literally just had the thought today of this could work for a video so so I've got um, the little bottles of product that you get so I've got relaxing bath and shower gel which as you can see I've used a fair amount of now um, body lotion and a shampoo and the conditioner <laughs> the conditioner I've been using thinking it was the body lotion so explain why it just felt a bit weird on my skin and yeah it just didn't it absorbed it did absorb in like it was a body lotion but it just yeah it just felt a bit weird on my skin almost irritated my skin which understandably but it wasn't literally I was at the end of the bottle and I was thinking why have I got two bottles of body lotion because I, I, body lotion and moisturisers I collect if I can. Um, yeah, so I'd got two of those. And I was thinking, why well, I should only have one. And then I looked at the bottle, which I'd just thrown out and it was conditioner. <laughs> so, yeah. But it was really nice. It still did the job, actually. So, you know, it's an alternative, maybe. But like I said, it was a little bit irritating on my skin. So, anyway. Um, they are, I think they're all the same. Oh, not quite the same scent. Okay, so these two are, oh gosh, I'm going to try and pronounce this correctly, um, Ilang, Ilang, that's how I've always thought to pronounce it, so, but this is really, I like that it's purple as well, I love that colour, like that shade of purple, I just think that's really quite pretty, um, yeah, it's nice, but these are quite handy if you're, like, you're going away. So, and keep the bottles as well, because like if you go away for a short trip anywhere else, you just fill these up with your shower gel or whatever, because you can't always guarantee where you're going is going to have um, shower gels and shampoos and conditioners and things like that. Um, so, and they're, you know, they hold a lot, really. But, um, that's really nice. I think it's it's too thick, it's not going to give it a good sound. That's a shame. I just think it's almost sparkly, but when you shake it up and you get the bubbles, it always gives a bit of a, a shimmery effect. So then we've got a body lotion with the same scent as well. Just a, such a relaxing smell. This 
brand is quite a popular one amongst like hotels and stuff like that. I tend to see it across various places you go and stay. I quite like their soaps actually because I tend to get their the hand soap you can buy it from our um, supermarkets. Um, I don't know if they really have it over in America or anywhere else. I haven't been to America yet. That's one of the many places I intend to visit at some point. But. Nice brand. Okay. I just put my little bit on actually. Let it come out. <laughs> there we go. So we're in the middle of a heat wave here. So everything is like super runny and just, yeah, very liquidy. Anything that's, oh, I've got a bottle of shampoo and conditioner in my car that had been in there for a few days. I bought it and forgotten that I got it because <laughs> it was on special offers. I just grabbed a couple of bottles as well. So I like, oh, put them underneath my, <laughs> the seat of, the passenger seat in my car and um completely forgotten about them. Anyway, I bought them in yesterday, had, um, washed my hair last night with that set shampoo conditioner. And um, conditioner is normally quite thick in consistency, like relatively. And I opened it and it just like poured out into my hands. Like oh, I was just like, oh my god, I lost a lot of it on the shampoo. I was like, no. It was an expensive, more expensive shampoo, like conditioner or whatever. And yeah, oh, just like I didn't consider that happening. Um, <laughs> again, it had been sat in the car all day, which, yeah, I didn't think of that. But even still, it's so hot. Like, I think it was supposed to get 37 degrees today, and I'm not, not a fan of the heat. But never have been. Right. Um, so finally, on the bottles collection, we have the shampoo. This is a purifying shampoo with Indian Cress. Which I haven't heard of that. Nice. Not as nice as the lotion and conditioner and um, uh, shower gel. A bit of a shake. And see the bubbles. The next thing, which is one of my favourite things, and it was a definite must to take, in fact, because <laughs> me and my sister were sharing a room because it was a big family thing we went on, and um, she doesn't drink as much tea as I do, but I don't think many people do, actually, I drink a lot of tea, um, but um, they had, they would top, re like, replace your tea every day, so the first day we didn't think about it, so we just, we had a cup of tea, and um, and then the next day it was like from the two tea bags that had gone, they replaced them, so then after that we thought, oh, Hang on. <laughs> so we'll just take the tea and the hot chocolate and then as you do put it in your suitcase and then and then they replace it. But um my sister was particularly excited because it's tea pigs. I haven't had I hadn't had tea pigs up until that weekend. Um yeah, so it's a uh, it was a, an experience and it's really nice tea. So they've got um, Everyday Brew and Darjeeling Earl Grey. And they also had, I think it was green tea, 
a green tea of some kind. It wasn't just green tea, it was, yeah, but I don't like green tea. So that I wasn't worried about taking it. <laughs> tried it once. Uh, actually, I tried, yeah, I tried a couple of times. I tried this green tea and I tried, um, Twinings did a, a gingerbread green tea. Gingerbread. I think it was gingerbread. Oh my God. It smelled horrendous when I was making it and then I did take a sip and was just, woof, no. And I get the impression green tea is something you either like or you don't at all. And I don't. <laughs> So I'm, I'm all up for trying different teas and I'd love to get try sort of more fruit teas and things like that. I love a Lady Grey. I typically drink Yorkshire tea during the day and then in the evening um, I'll have a Lady Grey. Earl Grey, I used to drink that all the time. And then I found it when I've got a cold or sore throat in general, um, Earl Grey is like perfect to soothe it. Um, but I had, I had a really bad cold, I think it was, um, a year or so ago, and all I could drink was Earl Grey. Um, and then ever since, it's kind of given that, that muscle memory, or whatever you want to call it. So I, I just, I don't enjoy a cup of Earl Grey now, unless I'm, like, under the weather. <laughs> Which is really a shame, but, um, you know, that's how, how the brain works, apparently. But, um, but yeah, so I like a, a Lady Grey. Um... What I thought was really interesting about them is that they're biodegradable. This is the bottom here. And they've got the rainforest stamp as well. Um, but yeah, so the packaging seems really nice for these. And the tea bags themselves are like, I'll open this one because I'll have it for my lunch today. <laughs> Probably chucking dust everywhere, but <laughs> it's tea, so it doesn't <laughs> But yeah, so I'll be making a cup of tea. I'll see that shortly. Just pop it back in there. But certainly a fan of tea pigs now, I have to say. Thing I've got is, which I always take these from the hotel if I can, is a nail file because it's always handy to have a nail file just in your bag. I suppose as a woman you have your handbag and you keep everything in there, like the most randomest of things but you guarantee you're going to need it at some point. <laughs> These are definitely handy to pick up, so. I'd taken it on like the Saturday and then the Sunday they replaced it <laughs> which I wasn't expecting them to because some hotels you stay in if you take something one day they don't then put it back the next because it's like oh you've had one <laughs> but I thought I took two of them
I like that it's in a little container as well, I think that's quite, that's good. Plus it's card, and not plastic, a lot of them are just cellophane. You just think, mm, meh. Um, another thing here, I always pick up if I can, again, is um, a mending kit. I didn't know that's what they were called, I thought it was something different. This is brilliant to pick up if you can, especially this one actually, I've got them very generous with their threads. <laughs> so this has got um, six needles, six threads, two buttons and one safety pin. So I do have another one from a hotel I stayed in a long while ago, which <laughs> actually if you use one of the needles, my screen wash on my car had uh, like gone funny and we um, I used it to <laughs> unclog it and um, just yeah it was the only thing fine enough to do it and I didn't have a needle otherwise certainly not that thin because my cross stitch ones are quite a bit thicker so yeah it's worked beautifully but this one I haven't used yet this has got a bit of cellophane on it which I've just noticed Is it the same brand as the shower gels? Interesting. Um, but yeah, so this is cool because it just slides, which most of them do typically. Just slide the cap off. It just slides off. So then you just got this plastic cover. needles and your buttons and your safety pins <laughs> or safety pin Some nice threads in here, nice colours. The only thing I would say is there's no like red, but um, yeah, I mean, quite generous with their selection of colours. So you've got your safety pin and your pop your needles out, and they're quite um, nice and thin. So let's pop the lid back on that. Yeah, these are really handy because you never know if you're going to have a moment of losing a button or just having to stitch, like to re hem your trousers or something. I don't know. <laughs> final thing is actually not from this hotel and um, this is from one I stayed in in Switzerland in Zurich it's called the Schweizerhof so we've got paper around I haven't used this yet this I've never seen in a hotel because that, um, that they've as a like a complimentary thing but it's a brilliant idea like um okay get the sticky bit okay there we go so this basically is a clothes roll roller type thing um so as you pair that off
so this wheel this spins you as you can see the pleated edge I don't think it's going to show it's pretty too bright sorry um, but it's got like a perforated edge along here and this edge um, that you peel each layer as you've used it and then along that edge um, and then you just tear off along the perforated edge and you have you just dispose of that one and then you use well, I don't really need um, I am going to try and stick that back on because I haven't used that yet I'm going to waste it probably won't stick okay Good. I might try and just we could try and it's quite sticky. The theory is that you with this you would Down the place like that, but you'd go down. So, if you've been around any animals, or just especially if you're at a hotel and you're going like to a wedding, or business meetings or anything like that, any event that you'd be able to use this just to smile yourself up, just in case there's any dust molecules or anything like that. Molecules, that's a bit small, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, on the fibres and things like that. But yeah, so, should be left with, like, you just get something, I mean, you then tear that off once the stickiness has gone. Okay. I'm just going to attempt to wrap this all up again. Keep it protected. Ideally, you want to keep the paper around just so that it's not going to stick. Collect everything when, when you're just when you're not using it, I suppose. enjoyed this one. So there's been a, like, a few random um, objects in there. Something short and sweet. Um, let me know of any video ideas, that, um, if there's anything in particular that you want to see. Um, just trying to sort of keep everyone happy if that makes sense. But. Always welcome ideas from me if you if you have them. Okay. Well I hope you sleep well and I'll see you again soon. Okay.